<laughs> well, hello again. How are you? <laughs> I'm having more te technical difficulties lately than I, I don't know why. I'll be in the middle of talking and all of a sudden it just says goodbye. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone is having a great Monday. It is absolutely beautiful weather out and I hope that you were able to get out there and enjoy it. If so, I'm a little jealous because I was not out there. I have been in working, working, working all day. I am finishing up a beautiful wreath. I have to show you. I'm in love with this butterfly. My latest one or my newest one is always my favorite one, but this butterfly is a metal butterfly. These roses are to die for. They are absolutely gorgeous. So my design is all finished except for my bow. And if there's one question I get asked all the time is how do you make a bow? Normally I make my bows um, by hand. Hey Doris, how are you? I'm so glad you caught me live. <laughs> Normally I make my bows by hand, but this one I am going to use my what I call an easy bow maker because everybody usually has an easy bow maker, which is the brand name for it. But this is actually a ham, a homemade one. My husband made this for me. Um, and really all you need is something to hold your bow as you're making your loops. So this is such a, I don't know if the word is busy, but I'm going with, I don't have this hanging right. Let's see. That's how it's gonna be. I just wanna go with a simple bow. So I'm doing, this color is sort of like a pinky peachy. So I don't have anything that matches it exact and I wanna go simple. So I'm going to use this burlap bow. And again, I thought that I would jump on because if there's one question that I get asked constantly is, how do you make a bow? How do you make a bow? Hey, Teresa, how are you? I feel like we haven't talked in forever. How are you, girl? Let's see how long I want these tails. Teresa, aren't you at work? How are you watching? Or you should be leaving. Um, I don't know how long I want the tails. Better to go longer because you can always make them shorter. You can't go the other way around. So I'm going to start with, let's say a 12 inch. I really don't want it to cover the flowers, so maybe I won't go with long tails. I'll have to see how it looks. For right now, I'm gonna make them 11 inches. I'm gonna go with a six inch loop, and that means make my loop, put my hand in at six inches. Can you see this? I'm actually gonna put the camera down a little bit, so maybe you can see me working on the... Uh, my table is a disaster here. So I'll get my head out of it. But there are markings on here for how big. So this loop, six inches, then you sort of squinch it in the middle. I'm gonna take my tail down. I'm gonna go for another six inch loop here. And how long did I make this tail? 12 inches. Let me cut this at 12 inches. And then I have the same ribbon, but in, this is a two and a half inch ribbon. I have the same one in one and a half. So I'm gonna use the two size, two sizes. They're the same, uh, the same ribbon. I'm just gonna do it in a different size. Give it some interest. And see how I made sort of an X pattern? A loop up, a tail up, and the opposite for the bottom. Now I'm gonna use the one and a half, and let's see. Oh, much better, you can see now, right? I know I was thinking that too, I'm getting ready to leave. Got oh, I'm so happy, Teresa. I hope you have a good ride home and don't hit too much traffic. I know that Oakdale Merge is a booger. I don't know what time you normally hit there. 
So I'm gonna stay at my six inches. I'm gonna cut this off again. And when I keep cutting it off every time, that means I have more tails. So instead of just two long tails, I have loops and tails, which I kind of like. It makes the bow fuller. Now I'm gonna go back with my thick one again. I'm sort of winging this, going for a different look here. 10 inches, I'm gonna go in a little bit. I'll go to five and a half on my loop sizes. I'm gradually going in further. Five and a half. Cut this off at 10. I'm trying to get all of these wreaths. The spring and Easter wreaths are like flying out the window, which I am very excited about. So I'm trying to keep up on them. Let's see. Okay, that was my thick one. I'm gonna go with my thin one again. Does anybody make their own wreaths here? I mean, their own bows, because these don't only have to be used for wreaths, obviously. These are great on gifts. You can put them on plants in the house. You can use them in so many different ways. A stack of books and you could put a bow on top. You know, they don't have to be large ones. All right. I'm going to do one more here. This is going to be a nice full bow. I'm going to go five inches on this again. Oh, I hear my husband is home from work. I hear the walking upstairs. I felt like he just left. He leaves in the morning, he comes back for lunch. He's back again, the time goes by like that. Okay, I think I have enough loops here. So now, let me fluff this up. The fluffing is what makes this come to life. I don't know what that notification was, so if anybody else saw that. But I keep having really bad um, reception down here. I'll be in the middle of talking and I'll look up and all of a sudden it's gone. Okay, see what's nice about doing it with the bow maker? It holds the bow, so I'm not holding that whole thing in my hand. It makes it a little easier to work with. Again, I don't use it all the time, but this makes, this helps making bows much easier. And I put that in there. And then I'm going to take another one before I tighten it all the way, because this is how I'm gonna attach it to the wreath. And then I just pull it tight. this off. Where did my snippers go? And then we fluff. Put your hands in the loops and just start bringing them to life. Slide your hand down the tails and it just makes them fall so pretty. And again, with this design that I just did because of the color in this and the design on the butterfly, I wanted to do a simple bow. So we'll see how it looks. Now let me fluff this side, get my hands in the loops, I pull them forward. I like using the two different width ribbon too gives it a little bit of interest, especially because it's a monochromatic bow. All right, now let's see how I attach this here. Oh, you can't see that though, can you? Let me put this up a little bit so you can see. 
and hopefully this attaches easy. We'll see. And I think we will do this this way. And I just thread this through. Oh, look at how easy that went through. Put it in my, make sure I have it positioned properly. And then just pull and get it tight, tight, tight. Cut off my extra. And now we fluff again. I'm going to cut these tails because they're obviously too long. That's okay. And these I'm going to dovetail. I think I did that the other night and I didn't dovetail them. I just went for an angle cut. It always depends upon what kind of design you're doing and what you think fits best with it. I think this is a very romantic looking, whoop. I have a pile of florals on the floor here. Hi, Karen, how are you? Thank you. Aren't the colors so pretty on this? I am in love with this butterfly. Let me get rid of my bow maker. And now I'm going to dovetail these, which means basically just folding your ribbon in half, cutting from the folded edge on an angle out toward the wired edge. I think I'll go even a little shorter. And then they just stand up. See, in addition to the loops, then you have the tails too with, the, with this style bow, rather than just two long tails. Oh, let me make this one a little shorter too. Oh, I found my better pair of scissors. These actually cut. Those ones that I was using last night were not my good scissors. What was I making with? Oh, I did the, um, the candlestick arrangements. Did any of you see the picture that I posted of that? They came out so cute, really adorable. Let's get this one. See, I want to make these a little bit shorter so that I don't hide the butterfly too much. Because that really is the show-stopping part of this piece. Even though these florals, ah, these roses are gorgeous. Fluff this. Oh, I love it with the um, monochromatic bow. I think that that just added to it. I didn't want to fight it for color and have to try and match it exactly. What do you think? Thank you, Doris. So now I have to go take pic. Oh, I see one towel that I forgot to cut. I'm gonna go take pictures of this, which means I hang it on my own front door so I can post a nice picture of it so people really get an idea of what it looks like. And see how full this bow came with the tails? Perfect, I love it. So that was my quick little bow tutorial today. As I said, I'm going to uh, take this down now. I'm going to hang it on my door. I'm gonna take some pictures of it, take a video so I can post it. But I'm glad that I got to say hello to all of you. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. I was frozen, wasn't I? I'm on now, right? <laughs> I don't know, really bad um, reception lately. It's very annoying, very annoying, but anyway. So again, thanks for hopping on and saying hello. Have a great evening, go make something good for dinner. I don't know what I'm doing for that yet. I know my husband just came home, so let's see what we have up there. I'll stop working now and I'll go do my next job. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for hopping on. Have a great night. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.